The Sherrod case has put a spotlight on the USDA's long history of discrimination against black farmers. More about that now from national correspondent Dean Reynolds. Willie Adams' 60-acre Georgia farm has been in his family since 1938, and he wants to hold on to its red clay and green pastures for generations to come. But the fight to keep it is increasingly stressful. High blood pressure, uh, almost a heart attack. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, it's a lot of stress. Adams is one of a dwindling number of African-American farmers, some 33,000 in all. We want eco justice. They're hoping Congress will at last end decades of discrimination against them and appropriate the $1.25 billion they and their ancestors won in a settlement with the Department of Agriculture in February. A court found the farmers had been systematically denied aid solely because they were black. Loans, grants, and subsidies that white farmers received. Willie Adams says USDA officials always claim to him and other blacks that they lacked the funding. But you saw that they did have funds available for other people. Yes. Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack says those days must end. I made it as a goal when I took this office that we would try to reverse that history. As for the settlement compensation, Congress has yet to approve it. And even if it does... It would be a very... Uh, bittersweet victory for us because I've seen so many black farmers uh, pass waiting for justice. Willie Adams is waiting too. Mr. Adams has wanted to expand his business for years to build a new greenhouse or to buy up new livestock for his farm. Today he's raising collard greens, squash and okra, but he says the farm's been starved without the government assistance other farmers take for granted. Trying to save the land. That's the main thing, saving the land, the homeland. He wonders why Shirley Sherrod was fired hours after that misleading tape surfaced, but other department officials were not fired for years of discrimination, raising doubts about the government's commitment to close what it calls an unfortunate chapter. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Greensboro, Georgia.